I'm Michaela. I I was born in Chinese Washington. Um, I went to WSU Pullman in 2016, 2019. I graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Psychology, and then I moved back here for nursing school. I really got interested in nursing just because I grew up and spent most of my childhood in hospitals, doctor appointments, and just kind of inspired me to do the same and just to give back to my community. So when I was younger, I was diagnosed with the, the degenerative brain matter disease. And it was really severe. It affected my ability to, to even do like the most basic step skills. I couldn't walk, I couldn't really talk. This was also the same time when I lost my hearing. Growing up, I've been able to see the need for accessibility in healthcare. So I'm involved in a couple of different student organizations that include DSAC, which is Disabled Students and Allies Club, HEC, which is Health Equity, Equity Circle, um, Crimson Scrubs, which is a nursing organization uh, in the nursing program. It's a leadership organization, and then I'm also in involved in the AHEC, a collaboration between WSU, UW, Eastern, Central, it's interprofessional. We collaborate with different medical students. So one of the projects we're doing right now is to fundraise iPads for Grace Clinic and Union Gospel Mission. Most of the workers there are volunteers. If a patient needs translation services, then they're recommended to bring a family or friends with them. So right now we're trying to bridge that gap by providing iPads, which will have translation services on the iPad. And just hopefully it's going to increase the accessibility for our patients and enhance the communication between the doctors, the nurses, and the patient and the family. She puts in lots of hours because she has to work harder, I think, than other students. She's all, she already takes on added responsibilities, looks for added opportunities to, um, for service, for scholarship. Plus, she's just smart, <laughs> you know. And that's that kind of combination, I think, is going to, um, that's what will really propel her forward in whatever she wants to do as a nurse, whether it's um, working clinically, whether she wants to, um, to uh, do scholarship, um, whatever, she, whatever she wants. I've seen Michaela grow incredibly over the past year that I've known her. Uh, she really goes above and beyond. She's passionate, she's motivated, she's organized. It's really rare to find a student that has all these qualities and she's also a great leader. The fact uh, that she is um, a deaf student, the fact that she understands what a good bedside manner should be and will be, tells me that as a nurse, she will be the best nurse possible to underrepresented communities. Michaela is a true leader, but she is also a warm, I'll say soul. The faculty have found it a true pleasure to work with her. She has an exceptional GPA, which also is another example of her dedication and fortitude. She's one strong woman. I think it's really important that we all do our part to make a difference, a difference in our community when it comes to reducing discrimination, harassment, and just increasing accessibility in healthcare for disabled individuals and um, underserved communities. My parents just really, they really went out of their way to make sure I had everything I needed. My mom's native language was Spanish and my dad's native language was Laos. So both of them had to learn you know, English and then they both had to learn sign language so they could like, teach it to me. So they really put in a lot of work and dedication to making sure I was able to talk, making sure I was able to communicate. If it, if it was different from my parents, I, wouldn't, I don't think I would be at this point where I am today. Um, aside from my parents, I've met a lot of like, different professors at WSU. I've met a lot of like, classmates who were just really supportive. I think were also my biggest, were my big motivators to like, to keep advocating for myself and for others and to do more in school.